Hello guys, it's me Sayu and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In the last video, we have created an e-commerce onboarding screen. For those who does not know what is an um, onboard, onboard screen, it is a simple step of uh, web, it is a simple tutorial or walkthrough of the basic functions of the app. For an e-commerce app, the onboarding screen um, is first will be a select item, then we'll purchase and next will be delivery. It is the basic step of the e-commerce app. Onboarding or walkthrough is only provided to the user only one time, only after we, just after installing the app. After that, we will not show the onboard screen. In this video, we can check how it is done. For that, we have to use a package called Shared Preference. First, we can download it. First, we can add the dependencies of Shared Preference. For that, let's go to pubspec.yaml and under here, uh, then we can take a browser. Okay. Uh, in Google Chrome, uh, search for shared preference. Shared preference Flutter. Then we can get this. Go to this and click on installing. So from here, copy this. Copy this and paste it in here. And press on pub.get. Oh. Okay, it's taking some time. After the process is finished, let's go to the main file. Press on get dependency. Okay. Now Let's make the void main as a future function. For that, let's add future here and and close and this and it should be async async runner. Next, we have to create an int init screen to check which screen should be. Display. Okay. Now let's add widget fluttering. Widget flutter binding dot ensure me slash. Next share preference. Shared preferences, preferences is equal to await shared preferences shared preferences dot get instance. Next, we need screen be equal to await. Preferences dot get in and let's see that in each screen. In each screen. And let's see a semicolon here. Next, let's have a wait. Preferences dot set in. The key will be in its screen and value will be 1 now ok ok that's enough what here happening is we are checking uh, we are checking that is it 
uh, already we have launched the application it will be returning one else it will be returned zero or null this is the procedure working here now let's create a home screen now it uh, just with eight screens here and it's nothing happening here we can add a home screen next for that in the screen let's create new let's create a package and call it as home inside home let's create a file and call it as home screen in home screen let's import material or dart let's create a stateless widget change the home screen and change the scaffold and let's give appa appa and Let's give the title. Title. Text. Let's give text as home. Okay. Uh, let's give the connection from this icon. That is in the onboard screen. Screen 3. And Let's find this button. Okay. Where is that button? Okay, here it is. Let's change this to navigator. dot push context we can give it as push replacement because it's a to, uh, testing app we can now let's give it a push okay context and okay, material page route material page route and builder will be home screen Let's reload the app. If we press this, we will go back, go to the home screen. Okay. Let's go to main the. Now. If we close the app. Okay, let's begin close the app and let's see take this onboarding onboarding why okay, I am not able to see the app so to search go to the app is missing here Okay, let's re rerun the app. Okay, let's rerun. Okay, the app is starting. Okay, we have directly going to the uh, onboarding screen, and we go next. Next, and take. We are going. To, we are going to uh, the home screen. If we close the app, take close, and okay, okay, the name was e-commerce onboarding. That's why I, I was not able to see. Okay, 
we close the app and again we take the onboarding screen come but uh, it's not necessary to give every time we open the app the on to show the onboarding screen for that to change that thing we can now let's remove this form from here and finish let's give initial root and init screen which is equal to equal to zero or in its screen equal to equal to null which means we have start first time we have starting the app that time only the initial screen will be zero or null if it is zero or null let's give that on board l let's go to home okay now let's give root And let's here. If it is helpless form, we give the contact to and call the home screen. And can give onboard screen. Click onboard. Contact equal to onboarding screen one. Okay. Now let okay. Oh, now let's go the app. We have reset. Okay, it's restarting. After that, we can close the app. Okay. Okay, we have closed the app. And then, okay, close this too. If we take the e-commerce app. Let's check this string is coming. It's directly going to the home screen. Now, and the the onboarding screen is not coming. The onboarding screen is only comes when it is on first time we install the app. Let's uninstall the app and check will the onboarding screen come or not. For that, let's uninstall the app. Okay. And let's reload, reinstall the app. It will take some time. Okay, installing. Okay. Yes. Okay. As we install, first time we are going to the app, it will display the onboard screen. Now we can go to the onboard screen. Yes. And if we close the app, and if we take it again, the onboarding screen will be no, will not come. So that's how we give an onboard screen to our mobile app. So if you found the video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials and UI for that for that's all for now and we can see in the next video thank you